Hey everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Flawless Friday. This month, we are doing the Bjergsen family. And forewarning, I know, I butchered that name. I know I'm going to see it in the comments. Please let me know how you pronounce it. I did my thorough research. I literally, before recording this, went on YouTube and looked at those little, like, pronunciation YouTube accounts where it's just dedicated to pronunciation. And I looked up a bunch of videos on how to pronounce it. But, uh... I'm still gonna say it wrong every time and probably different every time. Bjergsen is what I've settled on, so we're gonna go with that. I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's first name. I think it's Bjorn. That's what I've always said, but I'm probably wrong, so let me know. Great intro, I know. I'm just being so pessimistic. But we're back. We're finally back with another Flawless Friday, and let me tell you guys, this was so fun to do. Get Together was the first expansion pack I ever got for The Sims 4, so I know this family quite well. They are near and dear to my heart, and I was kind of stuck not knowing which town is to do makeover to, because I've kind of kept it to one or two. I haven't done a family much. So I had some friends over and they just said, do the, uh, do Bjorn and his family. And I was like, you know what? Awesome. I was playing with him. So I just decided to hop in, create a sim and give them a makeover. So for Bjorn here, I picture him as a, you know, comfortably wealthy guy. You know, he's, he's comfortable. So I tried to keep his, uh, outfit selection in that range, so to speak kind of, you know, a wealthy guy, and you can tell by what he's wearing. He's not wearing some trashy clothes or anything. He is a suited up man, and he is ready to take on the business world. I don't even know what he does in the game, but I kept his uh, attire like that pretty much, and I really like how he turned out. I didn't minimalistic changes to his hair and stuff, because I think those facial features in his hair really keeps who he is, and... He was really fun, but Clara or Clara, who, how you pronounce it, I don't know either. She was the most fun to do out of the four. Her, it was, I felt like I was playing Barbie dress up. That's seriously what this series feels like to me when I'm doing the girls, because you don't have to change their faces. You're not creating their faces. You're just picking hair and outfits, and it was so fun. And for her, I depict her as she's this like family woman, and she, you know, she's family orientated, and I just feel like she is such a good mom, stay-at-home mom almost-esque, but she's very classy at the same time, so I wanted to keep her classy because you know she's with this wealthy man, but that's kind of what I reflected on. And I think she turned out great if you just continue watching through. I love the outfits that I picked for her. And like I said, the classy but great stay-at-home mom vibe. She was so fun to do and it seriously was just like playing dress up and I could not get enough of it. Same thing for Sophia. Uh, she was really fun in the dress up aspect. I got to play with the makeup part for her. And honestly, I think these guys turned out to be one of my favorite flawless friday episodes and if you guys are confused as to why i'm not doing it every friday i did make a statement about this before but i'll just kind of refresh you guys memory we're now altering it to every first friday of the month so not not every week but the first friday of every month so you'll get 12 a year and the reason i'm doing that is i've just started school again and my work schedule's crazy my school schedule's crazy and i just want this to be something that's fun to do and not a chore and now that it's every month it is something i look forward to and not dread and i love that about it it is something i look forward to and it's so exciting they're easy to edit but they're fun to film it's really just a great, I hope, compromise because you guys can look forward to it as well as I look forward to it. And I'm getting better at the longer voiceovers. I'm halfway into the recording footage, so I think I'm going to end it there because I know when I'm running short on things to say, I need to end it off so I don't just ramble into eternity. I love you guys so, so much to the moon and back, I swear. I love doing this, and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye, guys. Thank you.